All right, so here is a highly corroded wheat penny. I just took one of my old chargers for uh, Conair, I don't even know what it was, like a hair trimmer or something like that. Stripped the end of the wires, wired on a couple of alligator clips, put on some tape to insulate them. I'm gonna take this corroded penny and I'm going to use electrolysis and we will see what it looks like when I get done going through the electrolysis. Okay, stainless steel fork or spoon, whichever you choose. Some hot, you can probably see the steam coming off of it. Hot water with salt in it and that's it. It's probably two tablespoons of salt and a mm, cup, cup and a half of water. Okay, you notice how I have the positive connected to the penny. Negative ground is connected to the fork. Everything's unplugged at this point still. So I'm gonna take this, plug it in. By the time we get back down here, you're gonna see there is already bubbles forming on the negative end. I mean the positive end, which is the one that's been attached to the penny. You're going to start seeing some electrolysis happening from that. You can actually start seeing some of the bubbles coming off of it now. Focus that in a little bit better. See the bubbles coming off the side? It's doing exactly what we hoped it would do melting the stuff off. Well, let's give it some time to do its work. Just want you to be able to see the junk that's come off of it. That was clean water when we first started out. Now you can see how there's a, it's pretty cloudy in there now. And can't tell them outside now. Um, once you want to do this, you want to do it somewhere that's ventilated. You don't want to be breathing in any kind of fumes from anything, so make sure it's in a ventilated area. You can see over time, I mean, that's getting pretty murky in that water. The longer you leave it in there, the more corrosion it's going to bring off. We should have a nice clean penny. Couldn't even tell what year it was before we started this. So we'll see what comes of it next. Hopefully we can tell what year it is and have a nice looking penny after all this is done. This is very easy. This was just used with, you know, to cost me two dollars for the clips and I had the electrical tape around and I was just going to throw this uh, cord away and it was just a cord for an old Conair hair clipper. I think anybody can probably find one of those around the house that is trash. We'll see what this penny looks like after we're done. All right, lapse time is less than three minutes right now. So I'm gonna unplug it. Now if you notice all the bubbling stopped. I'm gonna dry this off. Just see what we've got so far. Starting to look a lot better. You can already see some of the details coming out. And a lot of the corrosion on the back side is starting to come out. It's gonna do some good things for this penny. So I'm gonna put it back in the water. Make sure again, nothing's touching. Don't any of those things touching in there. It would be a bad thing to have the streams cross like in Ghostbusters. Plug it back in. You're going to start seeing bubbles starting to form again. There's the bubbles. And I'm going to give it another few minutes. It's been an elapsed time of approximately five and a half minutes now. You can see the color of the water. You can tell that stuff is working in there now. Um, I'm going to unplug it again and we're going to 
take a look at it. I want to take it out when it's still plugged in live. Take that out, dry it off. Let's see what where we're at now. Oh, now you can really see some good detail on that. You can see where all the corrosion is eaten away. And now you can tell it's a wheaty, even. Where before you couldn't tell that was a wheaty at all. So it's working. But we're about halfway there. So I'm gonna put it back in for four more minutes and I'll be back. Alright, we're at about nine minutes. You can see how soupy that water is and how bubbly it's getting. There's a lot of corrosion that's coming off this thing. Still bubbling like crazy in there. But I'm thinking we're about done. So I'm gonna unplug this. Stop all that. Pull this thing back out. It's a lot of corrosion that's come off that. A ton. Wow, you can already see how good that's looking. Hopefully you can see that in the video. I'll wipe this off really quick. Just do a really easy wipe of it. I'm not going to scrape or anything. That's just dabbing it off. But now you can see the detail in it. You can see that's a wheat. All that corrosion's gone. Now you can actually even tell what year it is. It's 1934. Oh. I can't see it from that far away. I think it's a 1934. I can't get any closer to see it with the video on. But I would say electrolysis does work. That was so corroded you couldn't see a face on that side and you couldn't tell that was a wheat penny on this side. And now you can tell both. With a little bit of scraping I could probably get off every bit of that corrosion right now because it seems like it's not really hard. It's just pretty, pretty surface right now. But without water you can tell how much stuff came off of it. So for three dollars and just a used old wire, electrolysis works. Okay, as you can see, you can see it's 1934D. You also can see a couple little clip marks on there where I had the clip attached to it. So my recommendation when you get new clips, file them down, sand them, make sure they're not really really pointy. Just make sure they're able to touch the penny but not damage it like this one did. Luckily I'm trying this on a wheat penny that I've got multiples of but you don't want to mess up and screw up a really good coin by damaging it like that so make sure you use clips that are blunted and shave down any of the teeth that are in it. Basically you just have to have contact with the metal and that's it. Well thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys learned something today. Uh, I know I did. And I'll continue to put some more of these videos on here. Check out my Facebook page also, Rocky Mountain Prospector Ryan. It's on Facebook, YouTube, pretty much everywhere. Instagram. Um, I'll, I have a bunch of other videos on panning and also gold dredging and metal detecting. So it's a pretty good cross-section of things in the outdoors. Thanks a lot for watching.